Um, I think we're holding together really well. Um, the D line has gotten super close. Um, we worked together very well. There's no selfish players or anything, and um, I think we're just progressing really, really well as a D line in, in total. Yeah. As, as coaches too, what's kind of unique about the role of, of you guys on the defensive line to this defense? Um, <clears throat> we have. We have very specific, um, I say we have very specific uh, responsibilities and we have to stay to those responsibilities or else it messes up the entire defense. And um, it's it a, a couple unique things like with playing end and stuff, um, it's more, it's more of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's you have there, there's so many things that can happen in one play that you have responsibilities for. Like a way a play happens, um, rather you have to go in if a, if the play is coming to you, if it's going away from you, you have to surf or do a whole bunch of different things. You just have a lot of tasks depending on what the play is that's happening. In year two for you in Las Vegas, how has your role changed as a, as far as a leader? within the position group? Um, it's changed a lot. I think I've, um, I think I've gained some respect from the guys who have been in the room um, from last year. You know, last year I came in, I didn't start immediately, and I eventually kind of took over the role of playing more and more and eventually starting, and then coming in this year, um, just a lot closer with all the guys. And, um, and, it, earning their respect and earning the um, the trust, like on the field and everything, with who I'm playing next to. And for you personally, how has it been adjusting to Las Vegas? Uh, I know it's different than probably where you grew up, but how has it been for you adjusting to the community and school and things like that? Um, it hasn't been bad. Um, so yeah, I grew up in in a big city in Dallas, Texas, and then went up to Spokane, Washington for high school, and then. Going from Kansas, a really small town, I've kind of seen all the, the different environments. And so this is my first time in, um, in the desert. But, I mean, it's hot, but, you know, I actually, I really like it. And for you also, Naki's actually made his return to the field. Mm -hmm. um, I know he's one of the guys that's been a leader as well in the, the defensive mm -hmm. line group. What's your relationship with him like? I'm super close to Naki. Um, me and him, you know, we, we talk a lot. Um, about different things um, that we can do to make the whole group better. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're super close. We built a, a strong relationship over the past year or so, and especially um, after Ryan, we're both super close to him, and we've really all come together with that. Yeah, uh, the center, Jack Haas, when we spoke to him last week, he said that you two players are the toughest that he's gone up against. Mm -hmm. Have you had some really good camp battles and who stood out on the offensive side? Yeah, so um, Jack is a really good center. He's he's very smart. Um, he, he has very good technique. Um, Alani is very strong, I mean, and he's a big body. Um, Chop, Chop is good. You know, he went from guard to tackle, and you can tell he's really adjusting to tackle and doing pretty good on the outside over there, so... 